Hey up, mate. Hey up, how are you alright? I'm not so bad, you hear about me? Well, you waved me over, so... No, I mean, you, you appeared up there and I'm assuming they'd phoned the police about me. Yeah, possibly. Did you have a little mini Mavic up? I certainly did. No worries. Hi everybody, PJ here and we're at Alpherton um, on uh, the big industrial estate just off the A38. I have been here before a long, long time ago and I just thought we'd, uh, I thought we'd revisit and see what's, uh, what's new if anything. Now where we are now, Romac I think it's called, I think this used to be uh, the co-op distribution centre some time ago. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Yeah, I'm pretty certain this used to be uh, co-op. And it's now Romac Alpherton. So it's obviously another distribution centre. Uh, co-op have got a big distribution centre just down the road now but uh, this is still a large place but the, the new one they've got is absolutely massive and certainly a lot more uh, modern than this one so um, yeah it's probably a right move for them How you doing? I make videos, Dick. Make videos, all right. I only ask because don't normally get people up there for me. Oh, yeah? I thought you'd have had loads up here. No, they're not. It's just like, like, well, they're up there. This used to be co op, didn't it? No, no, no. Co op is um, uh, on Ventura Way on the other industrial estate. No, but it used to be co op. The, the old co-op was on Ventura Way, just down from um, McDonald's. It was, it was at the bottom on the right hand side on Ventura Way. All right. Yeah, this, this has never been the co-op. Ah, oh, I thought it was. No, no, no. Previous to this, it was EV Cargo, and previous to that, it was NFT. Um, it might have been there. NFT there, uh, when I came here then. Oh, well, we were a driver. I used to be, used yeah. To be. Oh, yeah, I'm retired now, I don't, I don't do it anymore. How many years back for you when you were here? Oh, uh, let's think. I was at uni, so I'd be... Oh, 25 years ago? 25 years That was a bit before my time. I, I was here with, um, with NFT probably about 14 years ago. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that was a bit before my time. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely been in here. You've got a big truck wash around the back, haven't you? Uh, a big one, sorry. Truck yeah. wash, or you used uh, to have. Quite, quite possibly. Uh, I, I, I'm in the warehouse. I'm, oh, you're in the I, warehouse, I, are you? I know nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's uh, yeah. It's a long time since I've been here. Um, in fact, one of the lads who used to work in the transport office, I used to go to school with him. Which uh, what's coming for? I'm videoing, mate. Yeah. I make videos. Oh, do you? Yeah, I pop them on YouTube. I'm going to fly a drone over in a bit. All right, of course. All right. So, I don't know how they'll feel about that. I, I have absolutely no idea how they're going to feel about that. <laughs> um, well, yeah. well, I don't want to be on YouTube. Uh, no, it, to be fair, I'm not a big fan of being filmed. Hey, oh, a good looking fella like you. I oh, thought you'd you have know, been, yeah. you know, like I'm a movie star. I'd, I'd hate to be beating him off with a stick. No, no, no. You, no, you beat him off with a stick, do you? So you work at warehouse? Yeah, yeah. What do you do in there? Uh, yeah, you can do. Pick food, just picking and that kind of stuff. Yeah, All right. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, was it, was it uh, NFT or were you a third party when you were here? Uh, I did it through an agency. Oh, um, ADR? Um, I can't remember what it was. Uh, it was a company at Sheffield. Hey mate, everything alright? 
Yeah, everything's fine, mate. Just ask you why you're filming on our property. I just make YouTube videos. Alright, okay. That's all. And uh, I worked here a long, long time ago. Right, okay. So I'm just having a, a wander around and uh, doing a bit of video. I'm going to fly a drone over in a bit as well. Alright, okay. Get some aerial shots. But uh, yeah, it's a long time since I was here. It'll be what? 95, 96 when I was here. Right, okay. okay. Yeah, so it was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mate. Okay, obviously, yeah. Okay. Alright, where do you do? Are you a transport I'm office? Site manager. Oh, you're a site yeah. manager, are you? Yeah. Alright, how long have you been here? Um, only recently, probably six weeks. Alright. Yeah. yeah. What made you come here then? Hey, exciting project, mate. Exciting project. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think it used to be NFT when I came here. Yeah, For some right, reason yeah. I thought it was co-op, but No, no. No, it was it was NFT, it must have been NFT, NFT there, yeah. but I definitely did uh, Northern Foods Transport, innit? Yeah. 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 So it was, yeah. Cool. Alright yeah. mate, well thank you. Okay though mate. So if you see drone whizzing around, don't worry about it. It'll not be going very high, it's a bit windy. Just a, just a quick question, is it still all chilled and frozen here or you don't do ambient? All chilled and frozen? Okie doke mate. So there you go, it's all chilled and frozen. Do you know, I could have sworn it was co-op but thinking about it, it must have been NFT. That's, uh, I did quite a bit of uh, NF NFT companies while I was driving around. That's the beauty of doing agency, you're in different places all the time, different places, different companies. And it's not so boring that way. How you doing mate? Am I in your way? Sorry. Right, let's uh, let's get the old dread drone round and uh, and have a look, shall we? Uh, well, um, it doesn't matter whether you're happy about it or not mate, you can't stop me really. Okay, obviously it's private property. That's fine. Yeah. Right. So I'm requesting you down. Well, if you'd have asked, I'd have given you a registration number, mate. Sorry? I say if you'd have asked, I'd have given you my registration. Yeah. Rather than going and taking a photo of my car, I'd have given you a registration. Alright. <laughs> obviously, yeah, ask you what to just not fly it over our site, but it's not going to our property. Well, un unfortunately, mate, um, you know, it's uh, it's controlled by the CAA and not by you. Okay, thank you, mate. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. That. Oh, it's only a Didion. So there you go. One minute is saying, yeah, yeah, that's fine, and then next minute is saying, uh, no, you can't. So I suspect now they are going to uh, give the police a ring. But uh, there's nothing that they can do. I'm in uncontrolled airspace, so uh, so that's fine. And as long as I take off and land from a public place, that's okay, not a problem. Right, so let's get the dread drone up. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right, so here we are. What used to be NFT, and it's no longer NFT. It is now Romac. So let's have a look along the length of the building, shall we? As you can see, there's a good amount of bays here. A good amount. Most of them are empty though, for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, somebody's running for cover, is it because the drone's out?
like I say, I'm not going to go that high. It is, uh, it is a bit windy. And I'm sure they used to have a, uh, oh, there you go, wind warning. So there we go. Like I say, I don't particularly want to risk it. First whisk it. But we will go and have a look uh, around the back of the building. Just fetch it down a bit more. I can say, um, like I said, I'm sure that there's a, or oh, there used to be a truck wash around the back. I don't know if there still is. Let's go and have a look. That's the A38 you can see there running up and down. There you are, look, a truck wash. So, I have definitely been here. It must have been NFT and not, uh, not the co-op. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? As the years go by, your brain goes dead. think about bringing her down shall we there we go and down she comes landing and landed. Only a short one today, I'm afraid. Right, so that is um, Romac. <laughs> no other word called them. So that's Romac. Uh, I think that's the end of the video. The manager's walking back down here again, I think. Don't know if he's going to say out to me. If he doesn't, that's the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. If it does come down and say, oh, I shall stick it on at the end of this video. Bye, everybody. See you soon. So, it's just about to leave when the police turn up. So, let's go and have a word with the, uh, the police officer, if he wants to talk to me, that is. I don't know if he will or not. I don't know what he's doing. Is he getting out? He's taking his seatbelt off anyway. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's chatting on his radio to somebody. Like I say, I don't know if he's talking about me. Possibly. Probably. We'll soon find out anyway. He keeps looking at me. No. Nope. Is he driving off? He's stopping. He's stopping. There you go. Let's see what he's got to say.
Hey up, mate. Hey up, how are you all right? I'm not so bad, you hear about me? Well, you waved me over, so... No, I mean, you, you appeared up there and I'm assuming they'd phoned the police about me. Yeah, possibly. Did you have a little mini Mavic up? I certainly did. No worries. I saw you wave at me when I came Yeah, out. well, I saw you. I suspected that they were waiting for you coming. Yeah. And um, I was just leaving, actually, and as I'm driving down the road, I saw you come out going, I thought, I know why he's here. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I am recording you, by the way. Right. Are you recording me? No. No, that's fine. That's fine. Right. How are you doing, mate? All right, thank you. Yourself? Um, absolutely awesome. Can I just check your number and your name, mate, for no other reason? That... Mr. Booth, is that? That's a certain Mr. Booth and Mr. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore, how are you doing, my friend? I'm all right, thank you. I'm sound. What's the purpose of you being up here today, sir? Uh, I make videos. I yes, see you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, and, and the drone itself, drone flights. What about it? You've been flying today. I certainly have. Okay, so that's obviously why we've been called because they're just a little bit get people get a little bit twitchy. Yeah, I, un I understand system. that, uh, but you know, I try and inform people where I can. I can't always. Yeah, yeah. I try and inform people where I can that I'm going to fly my drone over. It's a two four nine mini uh, two. So I'm not in restricted airspace, you know, and I just want people to know what I'm doing so they don't panic when they so see the drone. Have you this morning then or this afternoon? Have I what, sorry? Who have you rang to notify that you're going to do a drone flight over here then? Well, I don't need to because it's uncontrolled well, airspace. I thought you just here. said you tried to make contact. No, with them. Oh, right, that's what I'm saying. Who yeah, you, who yeah. I, I, well, I went up and, and uh, spoke to security and the manager come out and I said to him, I said, I, I'm just going to fly my drone over, just get a few aerial shots and he kind of went, yeah, all right. Okay. And then, anyway, um, 10 minutes later, while I'm getting my drone out, I come up and he says, I don't want you to fly your drone over. And I says, well, I'm sorry, mate. But he says, it's private property. I says, but CAA uh, control this up here. Yeah. And as you know, we've been a, a drone uh, operator. What, what do you fly? What, what don't we fly? Oh, everything. <laughs> we fly uh, minis, Mavics, M100s. Yeah. Um, we, we fly the whole shebang. Right. So, um, so we, we've got we've got the mini twos. Um, They're brilliant, aren't they? Have a quick look at it. Would you mind? I don't mind at all, my friend. Just have a quick look. At, make sure you're you displaying what you should need to be displaying. I am certainly. Do you okay. want to see my license on yeah, my phone as well? It, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, it's all in card. I won't be doing my job if I didn't ask, would I? Well, you know, you could take my word for it. Well, am cool. I uh, allowed to uh, ask who we're speaking to? Yeah, my name's Pete. Pete. Yeah. Are you local, Pete? Works up. Oh, so not a million miles. I've just been up that end. Been up Eckington way. Oh, Eckington. Not a million miles. Ecking, Eckington Hall and all around there. Well, well, not Eckington Hall itself. That's quite pretty, but some areas in Eckington have been. So are you Derby? You know, it's Derbyshire Police yeah. then, isn't it? Eckington yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's still I in Derbyshire, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, mate. I've got to do my job. I mean, I need to know, confirm who I'm speaking to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. How long have you been flying for, sir? Um, I did my initial private pilot's license in 1998. Okay, and in relation to how long how, how long have you been flying uh, drones? drones for? Three years, I had a Mavic Air first one, okay. but that's too heavy to fly around here, okay. so I've got the Mavic 2. Is there two. a reason why you'd want to take aerial shots of the area or? I'd make YouTube videos. Okay, I appreciate uh, that, but there's nicer areas Probably in the Peak District, you might want to go and take some. But, but I make, yeah, but I don't make videos about the Peak District. I make videos about lorries, cranes, right. plant, sense, industry, right. all that kind of stuff. No, you that's see, fantastic. Obviously, if I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask what, what hazards are around here. As a, as a responsible drone flyer, you must know what hazards. You well, are there is a there is a flight scheduled for in two days' time. Okay, and what about businesses and roads around here? What you should really take note of. Well, you know, the A38, you don't want to be flying over that unless you, you know, you're doing it safely. Uh, there's a few cranes down there, but other than that, there's not a lot around here. That's fine. There's not a lot around here, but like you say, the yeah. A38, a fast road, we like to keep away from that if we can. Yeah, of course we do. Um, but that don't mean that I can't fly over no, no, it. No, of course it doesn't. But again, I, I'd rather make sure that you know 
and for my peace of mind. I do know, mate. So, yeah. I'm not saying you don't know. But, yeah. You know, I've never met you, so I have to. Well, you have now. I have now. Fantastic. Yeah. Can we have a quick look at your drone, sir? Is that all right? Yeah. I don't know where you're I'm parked down there. They've already given my car registration number so he knows what my car is. Oh, well, how did you know who I was then? I don't know where you parked. Alright. I did wave to you, yeah. That's how I know what you're driving. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go, uh, let's go get the drone. Yeah, I'd much rather come along and say, look, I'm going to fly my drone. It's nothing to worry about. I know what I'm doing. I fly it more or less every day of the week, two or three times a day. Uh, I can clear three batteries out in a day that easy. And, uh, you know, it's no to panic about. It's fine. And, and like I just said, a lot of people out there what still get skitty about drones. They think, you know, they think they're there for the wrong reasons. So you've done right. Notify them like you have. Yeah. What you need to do, and that's fantastic. You know, when, when they start saying, I, we don't want, I don't want you filming our property, I, I, I just said to them, have you ever heard of Google Earth? <laughs> you know, I can go on Google Earth and, and see it. Of course you can. Of course you can. You so, know, if I used to drive out of there years ago. Really? Yeah. When it was NFT. Right, yeah, yeah. It's been up here a while, haven't it? Yeah, but I, I mean, the same as I said to him, you know, Tarmac Place, just here. I went down there once, did a video, and a, a young lad on, well, I say a young, a young lad, he's in his, he's in his 40s. Uh, Mick they called him and he told me all about the company and what they do and everything and it made a brilliant video and then three days later manager phoned me up and says do you want a full tour at site and I said yeah so I got a video of um, the, the whole site from where the sand goes into where the bricks come out fantastic video and like an hour and 15 an hour and 20 minutes long everybody says how wonderful you know, what a great firm. And then you go to somewhere like this where they're kicking off and they go, what's that of idiots? Yeah, and unfortunately, I'd anticipate it's people who don't know the legislation of the law. Yeah. So we, we'll, we'll speak with them, just say, we've spoken with you, you have been fine, you've not committed any offences, and that's the end of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather talk to you and be civil like we have done. So that's well, and it's, it's to my advantage to talk to you rather than a disadvantage talking to you. You know, so down, next yeah, time we'll probably meet again. Yeah, so next time somebody phones up and says, "There's a guy outside with a drone. He's got long dreadlocks. He's incredibly handsome." <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> yeah, but you know, if somebody phones up and says, "A guy outside with dreadlocks, videoing and flying a drone," we'll still come and talk to you. Yeah. Say hello, but I'll be back to Yeah. Unless you're flying something different. Well, uh, I'm off to Egypt at the end of the month and then when I come back I'm doing the exam where I can fly uh, the big drones and I can actually go out of visual line of sight. It's going to cost me about 1300 quid to do the course. So you don't fancy the uh, Mini 2 and Mini 3? I do, but I, I do some videos, uh, more artistic videos, so I want a better camera. So I've been looking at the uh, Mavic Air uh, two. 2S, two S, yeah. uh, or perhaps even perhaps a slightly one with a better camera. Well, the Mini Three is fourteen megapixel. Oh, I know it is. Yeah. I know it's better than the than the two. It's just that the better the camera. If, all right, if it costs me two or three grand, it's just the license to do it. So I'm going to get the license and then make my mind up what drone I want. Right, sir. All right, Looks thanks like for your time it's anyway. Okay, see you later, see you mate, bye bye. There you go, what a cracking fella. So, uh, right, I, uh, <laughs> I'll end that video now. I was disappearing just down the road and I saw him pull up, so as he's pulling up, I waved to him and I thought, no, I'm not going to mess about, like, you know, making them come looking for me or hunting for me. So I turned around and came back so I could talk to them. Uh, and it's the right thing to do. Anyway, if you <laughs> for the second time, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe, and I will see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.